So let's take a look at how we can use a search engine. And we might as well take a look at the biggest and most popular search engine, and that is Google. So if we go up to our address bar, and we type in www.google.co.uk we're taken to the search engine part of Google. Now Google has lots of regional sites and we've gone to the UK site by going to the co.uk part of the address because we want our search results to come back from the UK. Now search engines work by indexing websites and reading web pages for the words on those web pages and those words are sometimes known as keywords. Google itself is a highly sophisticated website indexing millions and millions of other websites and you can learn all about Google if you follow the link at the bottom of the page that says about Google and if we quickly left click on there we have lots of different areas of information about Google and that is provided by Google and you can follow the links on there to find out more about Google but for the time being we're going to go back and take a look at how to use Google so we're going to left click once on the back button. Now as I said search engines look for words or keywords to be precise so if we type in a word it will search for the most popular use of that word. The more words we use the narrower the results and the less words we use the broader results. So let's take a look if we type in holidays in the search bar. We type in holidays and the number of results we've got is 316 million for the word holidays. Now the way the results are displayed the top three here are all adverts. And it says ads at the top and on the right hand side they're all adverts as well and that's because companies or individuals pay to advertise on Google and that's how they get featured onto the first page. After those three there the background is slightly different and then we have the start of our actual results with first choice holidays being the first placed result. Now let's try and narrow down our search and I'm going to type in coach holidays to Scotland and if we search we've got 279,000 results and it's still a lot of results but it does give us a more specific search and then all our results here are companies that specialize in coach holidays to Scotland. Now just a quick word of warning if you do book a holiday on the internet make sure that you are covered and that the company you use is approved by the governing body for that type of holiday. Now we can do other sorts of things and other searches with Google. If I was to type in florists and Derby again we've got some adverts there but but we also have a map provided by Google and we have local companies to Derby that provide florist services. Now you can also search for a specific phrase on Google. So if we type in play it again Sam but if we put it inside quotation marks and do a search. What Google does is it searches for websites that have the actual phrase play it again Sam as opposed to just the words so it's looking for websites with the actual phrase play it again Sam. And if we just scroll down and go down to phrases it tells us that 
He didn't actually say, play it against Sam in Casablanca. It was, play it, Sam. But then you all knew that anyhow, didn't you? And that's quickly how to use Google as a search engine. Thanks very much.